now we'll start the heartwood okay so what is the heartwood so it is the hard dead dark brown colored highly lignified and non-functional central part of the secondary xylem of the old trees so when you can see that this is the pith okay this is the central pith part which we have seen in the vascular bundle now in between that these are the heartwood so why this is named as hardwood because these are dark brown colored okay so when these are dark brown colored these are nothing but the secondary xylem okay these are made of the xylem part and that took from the secondary xylem or the meta xylem now the dark color is due to the deposition of organic compounds like tannin resin oil gums aromatic substances so all these are nothing but the organic compounds made up of hydrogen and carbon so these substances make it tough durable and resistant to attack from the microorganisms and insects so what are the uh, uh, functions so then it provides the mechanical support to the stem now what is sap wood so sap wood are nothing but the outer part the yellow part you can see here it is the peripheral region made up of secondary xylem it is also made up of secondary xylem but the color is lighter okay and it is the living portion means it always transport the water what is the function conducts water and minerals from the root to the lip so it also contains the xylem portion then cork cambium it is also known as phylogen so what is this phylogen you can see here so these are living phloem okay and these are uh, living phloem uh, this is nothing but the bark this all are the bark region and also it contains a periderm cork cambium and cork now we we are discussing here the cork cambium portion so this is nothing but this the outer layer brown color portion so this as the stem increases in the grit due to the vascular cambium the outer cortical and epidermal layers get broken okay so due to this vascular tissues the outer layers of the cortical they get broken now what will happen after that to replace it and provide a new protective layer another meristematic tissue develop in the cortex after the breaking of the cambium the another layer is developed which is nothing but the cork cambium and it is also known as phylogen phylogen is a couple of layers thick and it is made up of narrow thin walled and nearly rectangular cells now cork cambium phylogen is also it contains a secondary cortex and this contains a parenchymatous cell means thin wall cells together with that the cork is impervious to water due to subaerial deposition in the cell wall so also it um, doesn't uh, permeate the water to flow because it there is a subaerial wax like substance deposition so phylogen phylum and phyloderm together they forms a periderm so we have seen here what is periderm so this cork cambium and cork here together they forms a periderm so here phylogen is present phylum is present and phyloderm is present so phylum is nothing but the cork phyloderm is nothing but the secondary cortex portion you can see this is the phylum cork portion this is the phylogen cork cambium portion and this is the phyloderm so together they forms a periderm due to the activity of cork cambium pressure builds up on the peripheral layers and they die and slough off so cell becomes dead after that now what is the bark portion so it contains the living phloem the non technical term of uh, to refer all tissues okay so it refers the all tissues so it is two type early and soft it is formed early in the season and late it is a tougher one it is formed towards the end of the season now what are the lenticles so lenticles are all the certain regions phylogens cut off closely arranged parenchymatous cell and outer side first we'll see what is the lenticle so you can see this is the epidermis outer layer after that there are complementary cells so this when it cut off okay it when it get cut off then it forms a lenticle so this cell ruptures epidermis it ruptures the outer layer okay and then it forms a lenticles lens shape opening now they occur in most woody trees and function is lenticles permits the gaseous exchange of between atmosphere and internal tissues so that's why it forms a lens shape the secondary growth in roots in dicot vascular cambium is completely secondary in origin so secondary growth is nothing but due to the meta xylem so here secondary phloem secondary xylems are present so secondary growths are formed due to the vascular cambium only so cambium's functions are to break the cell between the phloem and the xylem together with that it also forms a growth because it contains the meristematic cells it originates from the tissue located just below the phloem bundle so you can see here um, just below the phloem bundle this vascular cambium is present now 
Protoxylem is the primary layer and forming a complete and continuous wavy ring. After that, the secondary layer, which is metaxylem, uh, it develops in and after the metaxylem, the vascular cambium is present. Further events are similar to those of dicotyledon stem. Now, secondary growth also occur in the stem and root of gymnosperm. Uh, and secondary growth does not occur in monocotyledons. It occurs in the gymnosperm, but yes, it don't. Uh, it's not occur in the monocotyledon. So here, this chapter is completed. Uh, thank you so much for watching.